well, from elephants with Tristan a little earlier in South Africa. We're now bringing you a lovely big herd of elephants live from the Maasai Mara in Kenya. And very big herd. There's some wonderful little tiny babies in this, in this herd. And uh, hopefully they're going to see them shortly. Oh, there's one. I think the smallest one is up to the left there, Dad. About to come out into the open. There, she, there it is. Tiny little one. Now, one of the things that I love about the Mara is uh, that when you, you pull out and you come wide, you just get some of the most spectacular scenery. Look at that. Even in the difficult light and the sun almost on us, it just it is just spectacular. Sorry, Dave. Spectacular. Remember, hashtag Safari Live if you want to ask us any questions. And uh, there are around 3,000 elephants in this area. And uh, well, we've got a good 30 of them now right here with us. Nice, very relaxed group of ellies. Just slowly heading off into the long grass. Now, that long grass is home to the north clan of hyenas who are the biggest clan in this in this area close to us and they literally pop out of everywhere so it's always fun to watch ellies in this area because sometimes they might chase a hyena just for fun how many we got here one two three four five six seven there 20 and another oh good 10 or 12 behind us still coming so a big big herd now when the migration arrives these elephants head up into those hills you can see in 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 the background and they would basically try avoid that the pandemonium that the great migration brings oh there we go perfect timing you hear that Ali was wondering, are the elephants communicating when they're trumpeting? Most definitely, and there's been some really interesting research uh, done on elephant communication recently. And uh, different trumpets mean different things. Uh, that was a sort of, I'm slightly annoyed with you trumpet, I would say, from an adult to a sub-adult. And uh, some of the most aggressive sounds we hear from, from elephants are actually mothers trying to wean. Uh, their, their their offspring and sort of tough love, stern words and whatnot. But even there's almost a, a, a particular let's go, let's stay, let's fight, rumbles. There we go, hyena. That's what I said. Where's he gone? There it is. So I said this is the North Clan. He's getting out of there before the elephants get too close to him. So I said the hyenas pop out of this grass uh, in this area. And I've seen plenty, plenty, plenty pop out around here. Hi, Shelley. Um, well, Shelley's wondering, will the elephants in the Maasai Mara ever make it all the way down to Kruger National Park? Uh, I'm afraid not, Shelley. It's, it's, it, is, it is way too far. Um, the, these are two very distinct uh, populations of elephants. Uh, not to say that it's impossible if an elephant wanted to it could walk that walk that far but they have no reason to and you'll notice quite oh, look at this guy I'm charging through little one sweetness get left behind don't get left behind <laughs> I love little ladies they are just so much fun So Shelley, no, um, these elephants will not pass through into the into the Kruger. Now, as I was saying, they they really love grass, and if they have a choice, they'll eat grass over trees. And when the migration comes, and of course the pandemonium and noise that uh, just over 1.5 million animals creates, the elephants don't really like that, and they'll move up into the into the hills, uh, into the escarpment, into the forests. Uh, to get away from the great migration. There will still be the odd bull and whatnot around, or maybe even the odd breeding herd around the river, but they will try avoid that great mass of animals that is the great migration. 